लाइफ कॉम्बिनेशन सम केस सम केस टू असाइन द assign the value to the to assign the value to the multiple keys to assign the value to the multiple keys to assign the value to the multiple keys at a time it of the dot sum keys की कामा वैल्यू यार की मस्ट बी इटरेबल ऑब्जेक्ट वैल्यू इज either iterable or non iterable your key must be iterable object value is either iterable or non iterable I am taking the dict object from key saw. Now I am passing one string object, iterable object. I am assigning the one value as the non-iterable object. This value is assigning to each and every character in our string object. Start from key saw. I am taking as a list of subjects. Assigning the mark forty five. Here I am assigning the list of marks again. This entire list of it will be assigning to each and every key. Here I am taking as one non-iterable object integer. Then immediately we'll get the error message. Int object is not iterable. That means this is a key. Key must be iterable object. Sir, if we use uh, this uh, from keys. in the already existing dictionary so uh, it get replaced uh, all the values just wait dot from key saw So Are in back phase, if we want to assign the new values, then only we'll use this. Here I am passing one value. This value is overrated to old values. Okay. What is your doubt? Uh, yeah, this is the doubt only. Uh, and uh, the other thing is that. Uh, if in the um, beginning if you are using the uh, you are using blank uh, uh, dict uh, so if we uh, use any x uh, um, uh, dictionary wherein all the values is already there so it uh, erases all the values let's suppose in the front yeah, that's right okay. X dot from key saw. List of I am taking as another subject. Let me 
compulsory we need to require empty dictionary object is required our old data is not displaying that means that the dict is updated right sir. good many thanks sir if you want to change the uh, different values for different uh, keys then how it could be okay the from keys Let's method say, uh, here we are assigning oh. 31 for maths and science but i just wanted to uh, assign uh, some 45 for maths and science for Okay, we can updating like the window value at a time it is not possible the from keys method you can assigning only single value single value to multiple keys hello at a time it is not possible to assign the different values to different keys the from keys method only to assign the single value to multiple keys at a time completed Next one, update method. Update method. To update the dicta object. To update the dicta object. Dicta object dot update of another dicta object. Okay, update the dicta object means to add multiple items and to update multiple values, multiple values at a time. Previously, we were discussing hashing concept. By using hashing concept at a time, we can add only one item or at a time we can add updating only one item value. But if you want to updating multiple values at a time, or if you want to adding multiple items at a time by using update method. Okay, now here I'm taking as one dictionary object. Max value as n 56. Lines 78. Can this What is it? Now here I am taking as a one dictionary, max I am assigning the value 45, science I am assigning 78, Telugu I am assigning 90, and Hindi I am assigning 71. Now observing very clearly x dot update of, I am taking as a one dictionary object, in the dictionary object I am taking as a one key. That value I am assigning 89. I am taking as a SC 72. I am taking as a one more key. Next one I am updating max. Okay, here I am trying to adding multiple items. This item I am adding. Next one, this item I am adding. Next one, this item value is updated. Already science is available. That value is updated 78 to 72. Next one, this item is available. That value is 45, but that value is updated to 70. At a time, we can performing updation under this one, insert operations. Next one, we can performing more uh, items we can add it. Next one, multiple item values we can update it. 
by using hashing at a time we can performing only one operation either insert or update at the same time we can performing only one item updated or one item will be added next one matching of two dictionary objects matching of two dict objects this feature is available from python 3.5 version versions onwards this feature is available from python 3.5 plus versions onwards completed now observing very clearly x equal to i am taking as one dictionary object Okay. We can matching the two dictionary object double star x and double star y. Okay, double star representation keyword arguments. Dictionary contains group of key value pairs. That's why we are using double star. Dictionary to present the item was on double star you just double star meaning in the keyword arguments. Keyword arguments by default get dictionary type long. Are a single star is the name? I have arbitrary. I have a double format long. Functions which have chipped on in Python are from Python 3.9 or in Python 3.9 to introduce. To introduce two special operators in dict class, operators are like as a pipe symbol or major operation. Pipe symbol equal to or update operation. Pipe symbol for matching operation. Pipe equal to symbol for update. Before 3.9, these two operators are not supported on dict object. Okay, for matching, how to matching in old version, this, this pattern we are using. Now, Update add this number result of Chimane, then get a very small effect of them. Can you get Excel again to the Yala again to just my result update in result of some update just the most in the X data and the effect of them. X loan a data to part two, Y loan a data good lay add out on to X key. Can you get allowed? After performing the major operation, X having older data and Y having old data. Next, observing very clearly. This is my X data and Y data. I am trying to perform in the update operation. 
okay after performing the update operation our x data is updated now this is our x data but previously merge operation after performing the merge operation the result is not affected in our original data but update means we can take the values from y that values are added to x Next one, dict comprehension. To generate the items into the dict object, items into the dict object, by writing some logic in the dict object. to generate the items into the dict object by writing some logic in the dict object is known as a dict comprehension dict comprehension to generate the items into the dict object by writing some logic in the dict object is known as a dict comprehension is known as a dict comprehension next point we can implement the dict comprehension we can implement the dict comprehension we can implement the dict comprehension to required minimum one for loop and one dict object we can implement the dict comprehension to required minimum one for loop and one dict object to write a program to generate the items that means these must be even numbers and the values are odd numbers into dict object into dict object One to n natural numbers. Write a program to generate the items. Keys must be even numbers, and the values are odd numbers into dict object from one to n natural numbers. observing very clearly now i am taking as a number in top into top enter your number now i am taking as one empty dictionary next one i want to take the one by one element from one to that number For i in range of one to one plus one. Next one check whether if i is even number or not. If i mod two double equal to zero. Whenever that condition is true, i is a even number. That is a key, and the value is odd number. Already we will discussing how to adding the items into dictionary. 
by using hashing concept x of hashing means square bracket next one which value we are passing key i value i want to pass in the key now value is how to find the hard number either i minus 1 or i plus 1 now i am using i minus 1 finally i want to print my dictionary also. okay this is a normal page Now I'm passing number is a 10. From 1 to 10 natural numbers we are generated. Keys must be even numbers and the values are odd numbers. You can now observing very clearly, same logic. I am trying to implement it by using dict comprehension. Okay, dict comprehension means to generating the items into the dict object for suppose here i am taking as a one dictionary object my requirement i want to generating the items into that particular dict object how to generating by writing some logic in that uh, dictionary object now here i am implementing one logic for i in range of which one one comma num plus one Next, another condition if i mod 2 double equal to 0. Whenever that condition is true, now I want to generate the item into my dictionary. Item into means item is a nothing but a key value pair combination. Now i is a key and the value is i minus 1. Now I want to print my dictionary. Now I am passing 10. Now we will get the same result. Okay, this is a dict comprehension example. Okay, I want to generating the items into dictionary by writing some logic in that dictionary object. Based upon this logic, I want to generating the items. These are the items. Okay, this is a normal program. This is a dict comprehension. So can you explain this uh, i colon i minus 1 logic? Okay, don't writing this logic first one. First we are implementing this logic. Whenever this i, if condition is true, now I want to print i is a even number that is a key and odd number i minus 1. Don't writing this logic as a first one. First we are implemented this logic. Whenever this logic is over, whenever that means if this if condition is true, I want to generate the one item. Item is nothing but i, and uh, i is nothing but a key, and i minus 1 is a value. Item is nothing but a key value pair combination. In the dictionary object, internally which format we are getting? Key colon value combination. Key is a even number, and the value is a odd number. Got it, sir. Okay, don't writing directly this manner. First, we are implemented this logic. Then only we can add the result. This is the result part. Next another example. Write a program to generate the items. That means these are the elements and the values are the number of occurrences of that element. Write a program to generate the items into dict object. From the given list object. Write 
write a program to generate the items. Item is nothing but a key value pair combination. My requirement is key is a element and uh, value is number of occurrences of that element in our list. Completed. Now observing very clearly. Now here I am taking the list as a input. X equal to how to take the list as a input by using eval function. Input of enter your list object. Next one I am taking as a one empty dictionary. I want to take the one by one element from our X for element in X. Next one, Y element is a key. That's why element and the value is number of occurrences. X dot count of element. Finally, print of Y. Now I'm enter the list as a input 10, 20, 30. That is my list object. Now the output is 10, four times, 22 times, 32 times, 41 times. Okay, X is a list object. List class providing one method. That method name is called count method. Uh, sir, when I am giving the blank value uh, as an input here, uh, so it is throwing error. Uh, which one? Uh, while entering the list object, if I give the bl blank value, means if I give uh, no value, then it is throwing an error. So how to deal with that? What is error? No, no. Uh, give one, two, blank, one, one, three, like that. The one A blank, comma one, comma two, comma three. That's it. Okay, compulsory. We need to specify the value. For suppose, if you want to take the empty, at that time you can take a single quotation format. That is a character, empty character. Here we are not specify any value, we will get the error message. Compulsory value is required. That is not a space blank value. If you want to take the space, compulsory we need to require quotations. Now in normal case, how to deal with this means? Uh... What is your doubt? We are not assigning the blank value. Okay. I mean, it is not necessary that we give in the list, we can give in the tuple also. I mean, normally without parenthesis also we give. If we want, if we, if we are taking the value from the user, so in this scenario, if we uh, mistakenly give the blank value, how to tackle this? Okay, in Python, if you want to take the blank value, simply we are using one data type already we will discuss, and that is a none value. In Python, directly we cannot assign the empty blank values, directly we can pass in the none value. 
Okay, th then uh, you means, okay. So uh, here we need to put the condition, like if condition that if it is none, then uh, <clears throat> do nothing. And then if it is not none, then we'll do, we prepare the dictionary. If element one value don't performing any operation else value that operation I want to perform. Now I am passing to one value I am assigning. Right, sir. Thank you. The same logic I'm trying to implement it by using dict comprehension. Okay, simply here I am taking as a one empty dictionary. Next one, take the one by one element. For element in which one? X. Next one, that element is a which one? Key. Element is a key and the value is X dot count of element. Now I want to print. This dictionary. Same result we are getting. Completed. Next another example. Write a program to generate the items or words and the values are and the values are number of characters number of characters write a program to generate the items items means key value pair combination keys are words and values are number of characters in that word into dict object items into dict object from the given string from the given string write a program to generate the items keys are words and values are number of characters in that word into dict object from the given string from the given string Now observing very clearly, here I am taking as a string as a input, 
x equal to input of enter ever string now i am taking as a one dictionary object next one i want to take the one by one word from our given string how to take that one for w in we can convert that string into words how to converting simply we can apply the split operation next one y of w that is a key and the value must be number of characters how to find that one length of that w simply print of y now i'm passing one string object now you will get the output hi three characters shiva four characters krishna seven characters good four characters and morning seven same logic i am trying to implement it by using dict comprehension now this is a dictionary object for word in x dot split next one word is a key and value is length of that word next one differences between list and a tuple differences between list and tuple okay left side list and right side tuple they come into the list side first point this object is a mutable object the tuple first point tuple object is a immutable object list object is a mutable object tuple object is a immutable object next one we can create a list by using square brackets or list function can create a tuple object by using parentheses or a tuple next one list object supporting list object supporting comprehension list object supporting comprehension
couple of object on supporting comprehension list of object supporting comprehension tuple of object on supporting comprehension next one on top of the list object on top of the list object we can perform insert delete update and uh, retrieve operations on top of the list object we can perform insert delete update and uh, retrieve operations retrieve operations on top of the tuple object we cannot or we can perform only retrieve operation only retrieve operation on top of the list object we can perform insert delete update and retrieve operations but on top of the tuple object we can performing only retrieve operation we cannot assign we cannot assign list object as a key to the object key to the dict object we cannot assign list object as a key to the dict object because in our dictionary object keys must be immutable but list is a mutable we can assign tuple object as a key to the dict object we can assign tuple object as a key to the dict object next one list object is a list object is a variable size list object is a variable size that means list size is not fixed that means list size increasing or decreasing that means for suppose i am taken as a one list object now what is the size of list what is the size of list four for suppose append of x dot append of nine next one x dot uh, extend of list of 0 okay now length of x is 8 now our list size is increasing 
for suppose x dot pop x dot pop our list size is decreasing that's why we are calling as list is a variable size list is a variable size but tuple is a fixed size tuple object is a fixed size that means once we can create a tuple object we cannot performing any insert operation and any delete operation that means that the tuple size is fixed completed okay when compared to mutable and immutable immutable objects performance is more when compared to mutable objects okay here list is a mutable and tuple is a immutable tuple performance is more when compared to which one list because tuple is a immutable list is a mutable already we were discussing coming to the memory point of view when now number of tuple objects having the same data but a referencing into single object in the memory but list objects each and every object having the different memory location coming to the memory performance list is slower performance compared to tuple tuple is more performance compared to list Okay, these are the basic differences between list two and top. Okay, what are the common points between list and top? List is a sequence. Top is a sequence. List allows duplicates. Top allows duplicate elements. List supporting indexing and slicing. Tuple also supporting indexing and slicing. List is a reversible object, and tuple is a reversible object. But these are the differences. Next one differences between set and frozen set. Differences between set and frozen set. Differences between set and frozen set. Set object is a mutable object. Coming to the frozen set object, frozen set object is a immutable object. Set object is a immutable object. Frozen set object is a immutable object. Okay. Next one. We can create a set object by using set function. We can create a frozen set object. using frozen set function we can create a set object by using set function we can create a frozen set object by using frozen set function
next one set object supporting comprehension project set object own supporting comprehension project set object own supporting comprehension next one on top of the project set object on top of the set object we can perform we can perform on top of the set object we can perform insert and uh, delete operations delete operations on top of the project set object we can perform we cannot perform insert and delete operations insert and delete operations on top of the set object we can perform insert and delete operations come into the frozen set on top of the frozen set object we cannot perform insert and delete operations next one we cannot assign we cannot assign set object as a key to the dict object key to the dict object because in our dictionary keys must be immutable but set is a mutable we can assign frozen set object is a frozen set object as a key to the dict object key to the dict object we can assign frozen set object as a key to the dict object completed next point set object is a variable size variable size if you come into the frozen set frozen set is a fixed size Okay, once we can create a set object we can add the elements and we can delete the elements but once we can create a frozen set object we cannot adding the elements at the same time we cannot deleting the elements next one set object don't allows nested set concept That means set in set set is not possible. Frozen set object allows nested frozen set concept. Okay, frozen set object inside. Another frozen set object is supported. Uh, 
the performance is slower compared to frozen set. The frozen set performance is faster compared to set. Okay, these are the differences between set and frozen set. Completed. The most common points are, what are the common points? Set is a non-sequence, frozen set is non-sequence, set don't allow the duplicates, frozen set also don't allow the duplicates, set don't supporting indexing and slicing, frozen set also don't supporting indexing and uh, slicing concept. Set object is not a reversible object. At the same time, frozen set object is also not a reversible object. These are the differences between set and frozen set. Okay, next class we will be discussing how to the copy data from one object to another object by using hard to copy, shallow copy, and deep copy. Anybody, any doubt?